built this cute little skateboard shop to hold all of our fingerboards. But we're kind of missing one. Well, I guess we could we could make one. Yeah, why don't we make a printable? Yeah, like our own little custom board. I mean, this is a board shop where the dolls make boards, so you know, I guess we could make a board for the dolls to look like they're making a board. <laughs> actually tried to make a board before. This is like a while ago and this was uh, what I came up with. I think we can do better. What do you think? <laughs> I mean you can see the cardboard lines and everything. So let's grab some supplies and try again. So I'm thinking <laughs> recycled paperboard. Yeah, because we have a lot of that and it's great with recycle. Yes, and we can do it kind of similar to how we did with the with the surfboards where we just do several layers. I think that will work. The only thing I'm thinking is that if we put um, like the wheel mechanism on the outside, it might just rip right off because it's just made of paper. I'm thinking we're gonna put a hole all the way through the paperboard and then we'll be able to attach like a, maybe put a toothpick through it or just let the glue dry inside. I'm thinking that might work. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a try. I'm thinking that we can just take the tooth, uh, this is straw. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking that we can just take the straw and maybe we can cut it. Then we can put the toothpick inside and that way if we attach the wheels to the sides, it'll still turn. We just have to glue the, the beads on the sides and that'll be the wheels. So here's the prototype and I used hot glue to make the little, the little part that fits in front but we have to have another option in case people don't want to use hot glue. Yeah, like tacky glue? Yeah, we can try using tacky glue. Maybe we should put like a, like something underneath it, like a piece of a toothpick or a, a Q-tip or. Well, why don't you paint it? Yeah, well, of course we're gonna paint it. <laughs> I don't think we want a multicolored uh, little part of the wheel here. What is this called? A, uh, a throat? A truck. A truck. That's right. There you go. It's called a truck. How'd you know that? I don't know. <laughs> Awesome. But first, we're going to need a board. So I went and made a printable, because you suggested a printable, and that is a easy way to do this. Can I make my own? Yes, that's what I did. I left some blank so that you can like design your own board. Oh, it's cool. So what are y'all designing? I'm, I'm finishing my winky face. I'm finishing my ice cream cone. Oh. You know, I don't feel like drawing. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna use a magazine for my board. Here's mine. Would you like to show off yours? Oh, so is that a little, is that a little grumpy face? It's a straight face. It's a straight he, face. He's, he's like, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you have? I got ice cream. It's a big stack of ice cream. The ice cream has faces on it. Y'all were so creative. I, I just cut it out of a magazine. But you know what? This is recycling and I love recycling and mine was really, really fast to make. Now let's see how our boards look in the shop. Let me see yours. Here we go. All these awesome custom made boards. We can make a whole shop full of our own custom boards. How custom awesome would that boards. be? Custom boards, that's the name of the shop. That would be so awesome. Custom emotional boards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you had a wonderful time making custom boards with us, and we'll see you next time on, on the Rob Blog. Blog.